Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Asia, guys. A great time to be alive. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Dogecoin. We're going to be talking about what the hell happened with Pepe out there. And we're going to be talking about Bitcoin. We're going to be talking about the state of, uh, of uh, crypto. And are you missing out? Are you freaking missing out? Are these the best times, the only times to be buying more crypto? Or should you, should you sell get out of crypto and go running for the hill. So we're gonna talk about that, discuss that, give you my opinion. Remember, everything here is not financial advice. It's just an OG in the house expressing my opinion. Uh, so let's talk about let's talk about what the markets are doing. Let's talk about uh, what's going on with crypto, and uh, let's start talking about some of the prices, and then we'll get into the, get into it. So guys, don't forget to smash the likes and subscribe like crazy. So you guys can see right here that uh, much of the crypto market is pretty much flat. And we, we're seeing this happening uh, almost for for a week now. We're seeing that pretty much uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum is is slightly down. We're seeing that uh, Bitcoin right now is still still at twenty six thousand dollars, and it seems that the bears and the bulls are kind of fight, fighting it out at this range right now. So that's what's going on with that. And our Dogecoin, our Dogecoin is uh, holding strong at zero six two eight zero one. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice that's pretty happening out there ada is up uh bnb is down uh solana is uh slightly slightly up we're seeing matic is slightly up uh we're seeing a shibi weeby let's uh, let's uh, let's get down to shibi weeby out there we're seeing that shibi weeby as well is almost is down as well but not everything is kind of neutral in the house so that's what's going on with that uh so let's talk about some of the some of the interesting news what's going on in uh in uh, crypto land so overall we're seeing that uh, jp morgan did come out uh, and say that they forecast limited downside for crypto so that is pretty good so jp morgan is saying look there's limited downside for crypto uh you know it's a good time uh to to get into crypto and uh, it's not a bad thing at all so that's pretty good from that perspective and you know are, are you missing out are you missing out well i think you are missing out because i think there's some huge huge freaking buying opportunities right now uh that you know it's a good time to buy the dips i think that uh, you know we are seeing fundamentally that uh things are just going going sideways we're not we're not seeing we're not seeing big big dips we're not seeing big uh crashes we're not seeing a lot of volatility which is kind of interesting you know you would expect uh, you would expect us to be seeing a lot of volatility a lot of swing up swing down but we're seeing this huge uh, bear flag that's been forming for Bitcoin, for Shiba Inu, for Dogecoin, and we're just going sideways. So we see that you know twenty six thousand is a good support level. Uh, Six cents is a good support level. A whole bunch of zeros at eight is a good support level for for uh, for Shiba Inu. So guys, what's going on? What's going on with uh, Pepe Coin? So as you guys as you guys know, there was all these rumors speculating that uh, Pepe Coin uh, basically rug pulled. Well, it wasn't actually a rug pull. I mean. Technically, technically, I think it. I think it is a rug pull of sorts because, as you guys know, that any kind of uh, crypto project, often the developers will have multi-signature wallets. Okay, uh, so multi these multi-signature wallets, and what these multi-signature wallets do, uh, I'm going to move over to the chair of knowledge. What these multi multi-signature wallets do is it doesn't allow one single person to basically move the crypto uh, out of these developer wallets. So uh, before they had eight multi-signatures that were required to move Pepe. And what happened was uh, somehow it got changed to a couple of guys. And on the 26th of August, what happened is about 16 trillion uh, of Pepe tokens were moved to exchanges very rapidly and, and, and sold off. Okay, so it was about fifteen million dollars was 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 siphoned off. So that caused that caused the Pepster the Pep, Pepster to tank. So according to one of the lead developers, uh, some nefarious uh, team members, basically they had adjusted the multi-signature wallet to to about two guys, and uh, apparently these two guys what they did is they sold off sixteen trillion dollars worth of uh, tokens out of the developer wallets. Now this developer wallet was basically earmarked for donations and, and burning, but these guys sold off uh, and they ran away with fifteen million dollars, which is about four percent of the total. Uh, so, so, uh, four, four million, 
about four percent of the total circulating supply of uh, of, of uh, Pepe coin out there. I was gonna say Dogecoin, almost like almost almost goofed up on YouTube. Almost goofed up. Almost said uh, almost said uh, Dogecoin. So that's what happened. So in essence, it was a it was was an insider rug pull, right? In in essence. So you know, the lead developer came out, apologized, explained the whole story. Yada, 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 you know, he's now, they're now saying that everything is fine, everything is beautiful, it's never gonna happen again. You know, pink unicorns, all that crap. So, from my perspective, is this a good time to be loading up the Pepster? I don't know. I mean, I have a very tiny bag of Pepster, the Pepe, uh, as, as a moon bag, right? You know, but typically, you know, I mean, when I talk a, a small bag, it's like, a, like 500 bucks, right? Which is nothing, right? Uh, so that was just purely speculative. So that's what I got. So also, it looks like Billy Marcus came out and he was talking on Twitter uh, today. And he was saying that, you know, uh, when he made uh, Dogecoin and he did use Twitter in the inception of building uh, Dogecoin to get uh, media and public awareness. So he did say, look, you know, Twitter, Twitter, a.k.a. X, now X, X. Uh, was a big part of the whole uh, development, uh, the whole communication, the whole get that message out there for Dogecoin. Now, keep in mind that fundamentally, all the Dogecoin community, all the Dogecoin lovers out there, uh, Elon's been pretty quiet when it comes to Dogecoin in the past, uh, past about four weeks. We haven't heard, uh, three weeks, right? Three, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. The last thing was that uh, uh, that uh, Elon Musk talked about was uh, Doge, uh, Twitter, uh, X. Fuck. Did I just say a bad word? I think I did. <laughs> Ah, ah, so X, X is a good place for dogs and douche. So that was his, that was his latest uh, and greatest when it comes to Dogecoin. We're still expecting Dogecoin Tippy Jar, uh, November 13th to 15th. We got the Doge X1 mission to the moon. That's still coming guys. So we're still anticipating that, still waiting for that. I'm praying, I'm praying that that gets confirmed. And if it does confirm, if it does confirm, uh, maybe this would be, uh, this would be a good time this would be a good time for Elon Musk to integrate uh, Doge into the X platform. Maybe the timing, maybe coincident. I don't know, maybe it's gonna be happening. But it's kind of funny, if we, if you kind of look at the, uh, Elon Musk historically, you know, uh, he, he started this uh, payment company called X, then he has another company called SpaceX. Uh, he named his kids, one of his kids, X. Uh, and then he named uh, Twitter, changed Twitter to X. So it's kind of interesting that uh, Elon Musk, he loves X, right? And apparently, apparently, I, I, I was kind of just fumbling around the internet, and apparently ancient Greek X seems to be a kind of a abbreviation for the word Christ, I don't know. So that's, that's kind of weird, right? But definitely Elon Musk has this thing about X, right? X, X. So at least it's not, at least not triple X, right? OG just made a joke. OG just made a joke. Uh, so that's kind of what's going on with uh, Doge right now. So Doge fundamentally is at uh, 0.6. We've got this bull flag formation. It kind of looks like this. Blah, 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 blah. And we're just going sideways. Six cents is holding. Keep our fingers crossed. That six cents will continue to hold. If it doesn't hold, then we're going to be like in poo-poo schmatter bill, right? I'm hoping it holds. You're hoping it holds. So from that perspective, we're okay. Uh, like I said, Bitcoin is kind of fighting it out between the bulls and the bears at 26K. Ethereum is doing its thing. Shiba Inu is doing its thing. Also, same pattern, bull, uh, bear flag, babe. So we could see some more downside. But, you know, we did have uh, the Prowler came out with the FOMC. Uh, he was very uh, hawkish. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Powell. Jerome Powell, thank you. And basically said that, you know, the government inflation rate that they want to hit is two percent. We're not there yet, uh, so there's going to be more quant. There's going to be there's going to be more interest rates hikes. Blah blah blah. We won't have quantitative easing yet. Uh, we'd love to get quantitative easing because when you get quantitative easing, what happens is price of everything goes up. Pow. So from that perspective, that's about it, guys. Quick update. It's Sunday here. I'm working, going off to grind, going to hit the shower, get off to work, guys. So I'll see you in the freaking next one. Be blessed, be well, be beautiful, be Dogecoin. Peace out.